Nowadays, presidents, rulers and leaders can send a tweet or do a 30-second interview and be perceived as stupid or insane instantly. But before all the technological advances, historical leaders have been able to do just about whatever they've wanted, <laughs> and not many people would know about it until now. Let's get straight into the list, starting with the easiest ones and slowly working our way to the worst offenders. 10. Ivan IV of Russia, known as Ivan the Terrible, was infamous for his violent temper. In one particularly violent outburst, he struck and killed his own son, Ivan Ivanovich, during a heated argument. He also established the Oprichnina, a secret police force that unleashed terror on the Russian nobility, confiscating lands and executing perceived enemies. His reign was marked by a blend of progressive reforms and brutal repressions. 9. Roman Emperor Nero had an immense passion for performing arts and would often take to the stage. He mandated attendance at his performances, where audiences were not allowed to leave regardless of the duration. Some spectators reportedly faked their deaths to escape the excruciatingly long performances. Nero's love for grandeur extended to his lavish palaces and infamous Domus Aurea, or Golden House. 8. King Charles VI of France, known as Charles the Mad, suffered from severe bouts of mental illness. He believed he was made of glass and feared shattering, leading him to wear specially reinforced clothing. He often ran through his palace howling and fled from his wife and children, unable to recognize them. His madness led to a period of instability and conflict within France. 7. Queen Isabella I of Castile vowed to wear the same dress until the Reconquista was complete. This vow resulted in her wearing the dress for three years, leading to severe hygiene issues. Her commitment to the cause was emblematic of her determination to reclaim Spain from Muslim rule. Isabella's reign was pivotal in the unification and Christianization of Spain. 6. This one isn't about a specific ruler, but instead, an entire tribe. The Maya practiced auto-sacrifice, also known as bloodletting, which involved self-inflicted cuts, often on the tongue, ears, or genitals, to offer blood to the gods. These acts were believed to communicate with deities, ancestors, and the supernatural, ensuring the fertility of the land, the success of crops, and the balance of the cosmos. Five. Theodore Roosevelt gave a 90-minute speech after being shot. On October 14, 1912, while campaigning as the Progressive Party candidate for the presidency, Roosevelt was shot in the chest by John Schrank, a saloon keeper from New York. The bullet lodged in his chest after passing through his steel eyeglass case and a thick folded copy of the speech he was about to deliver. In his speech, he famously said, I have just been shot, but it takes more than that to kill a bull moose. Fourth, Winston Churchill was known for his unconventional work habits, including conducting meetings from his bedroom while still in his pajamas. During World War II, Churchill often worked late into the night and would continue his work from bed in the mornings. He would receive guests, dictate letters, and conduct official business while dressed in his nightwear. Three. Mao Zedong was a poet in addition to being a revolutionary leader. Mao wrote poetry throughout his life, and his works are known for their classical Chinese style. His poems often reflect themes of revolution, nature, and historical events. Mao's poetry is highly regarded in Chinese literary circles and has been studied for its artistic merit as well as its historical and political significance. Two. Cleopatra is famously believed to have bathed in donkey's milk. According to ancient sources and later historical accounts, she used donkey milk as part of her beauty regimen. It was said that she maintained her youthful skin and beauty by soaking in baths filled with the milk of 700 donkeys. Donkey milk was considered to have moisturizing and anti-aging properties and Cleopatra's reputed beauty practices have become a legendary aspect of her persona. 1. Byzantine Emperor Justin II experienced severe mental decline during his later years. He would be wheeled around the palace on a throne with wheels 
exhibiting erratic behavior. Justin II was known to chew on the heads of his servants and scream uncontrollably. His deteriorating mental state led to his wife, Empress Sophia, effectively ruling in his stead. If you enjoyed this list, then you are going to love the last video we did. Since you made it this far in the video, please take some time to make sure you are subscribed, like this video and leave a comment to let us know how we did. See you next time on Historical Stuffing.